Chip White's the producer of My Luchador, which is a brilliant little uh, short that's just screened here. At the end of, of your run on the film festival circuit, you've had a lot of success with this unusual little love story. We have. Um, we're excited to be here, for one thing. We love this festival. And it is kind of wrapping up. We shot it a little over a year. But we've won Best in Show, Best of Show, Audience Choice, Best Short, Best Actor, Best, I mean, best Actress, Best Director, Best Score, um, Founders Award. It's, it's won like 10 awards, 10 to 10, 13, I can't even remember them all. Right now. Yeah, set the story for us because it's not a world that a lot of people uh, um, would be familiar with. The Luchador, the Lucha Libra, are the rest, the masked wrestlers that were big in, the, in Mexico and, and the Latino population has a huge resurgence in the underground right now. Um, this is the story of an aging luchador, his loving wife, who's she's obviously successful, and he's still stuck in a cubicle trying to figure out what his life is supposed to be, and she she just wants him to be happy. She can see that he's not happy, mm -hmm. um, and she finds this opportunity to to wrestle the demon. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Literally, the guy comes yeah. out. It's, 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 it's one of those gut check moment. <laughs> yeah, guy's <laughs> huge. I mean, he's, he's six, six, 300 pounds, got arms like this, um, tattooed up, they've got him all painted red. Um, and, you know, and he has to face this fear because uh, all of a sudden he's, he's looking up and what am I about to do, you know? Another collaboration with writer-director Shea Sizemore. Yes. Where does, where, 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 what, what, does Shea get up in the morning and say, oh, a, a story about Luchador. He kind of did. He, yeah. he was a big fan of uh, Nacho Libra with Jack okay. Black, and yeah. he he's kind of fascinated with that the, that part of the wrestling. And he had an idea for a love story. And it's like, so how could he how could he come up with the two or combine the two? And he just thought of just the sweet little story. And the and I think the idea is that it, it sold itself in that 13 minutes. Mm -hmm. you know, someone asked, hey, can we make can you see it as a feature? And, you can see anything as a feature to a point, but this one's like, why? Right. It tells its and story. And you could go get this online now. Right? Yeah, it's on, uh, if you go to Vimeo.com, just search My Luchador. It'll come up. It's one of the first in the thing. Um, we have a Facebook page and a website. On to the next thing. On to the next thing, Crab Trap. Mm -hmm. Shot in Merle's Inlet. Shot in Merle's Inlet in Garden City. We, uh, we premiere next month in Myrtle Beach on March 6th. It's free if you're around. And then it's March 7th in Charlotte. And then we'll start doing the film festival circuit with that one. Okay. We'll get in. And th that one, has, you think, has a possibility of, of being turned into a feature? Thing. It could be. Yeah. It, it has the potential to really expand on the story. Um, again, Shay tends, when he writes shorts, he tends to really tell the story in the short. Mm -hmm. you, you can make it longer, but there's also one. Well, you can also just take that one and go to another story. Sure. Um, but this one, it. it it could go a little deeper. You definitely could do a little deeper level on the backstory of the characters in this one and really um, expand on on a couple of other characters' parts that are just minor, but you could build them up. Uh, it's uh, got a great cast. Mm -hmm. and Danny Benson, who's this character actor out of Alabama, who you has been in everything. He was mm -hmm. in Birth of a Nation, Talladega Nights. I mean, he's just he's popping up everywhere. Right. Uh, Rebecca Coon, she's again a, a character actress who has been in The Notebook and Talladega Nights and another thing she's mm -hmm. popped up everywhere. I was fortunate to attract Grant, Grant Goodeve, who played the oldest son on Eight is Enough, right. and uh, John Volstad, who was on New Heart. He was the blonde Daryl. He was a blonde, the other brother. Yeah, the other brother Daryl. <laughs> um, he's got a little part, and uh, so it's kind of fun to bring in a little bit of recognition this time. Mm -hmm. We're getting a reputation to where when we reach out to people, their agents will say, we're interested, but my client's already working. What's next? Or they'll say, tell us more about it. We don't get the flat rejections that we used to get. <laughs> um, Always good. Yeah, so I think we, we, we're getting a, a good reputation. I mean, our, our quality of our work is speaking for itself. Good. Um, people that work with us are excited to work with us, which is always good. You know, if someone says, yeah, I'll work with you again. Well, good. And, and second trip here. Second trip here. We'll look forward to maybe a third, three in a row. I hope so. How's it been so far? I love this festival. This It's just amazing. The weather's great this time. <laughs> I like this festival because you have, this festival has a lot of viewers. Mm -hmm. The seats are filled with not just filmmakers, but we're patting ourselves on the back. Right. 
I get to talk to people who like film. Mm -hmm. I'm not a film buff, so to speak. I like film. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of movies. You get people and they, they want to talk to you about your movie versus another filmmaker talking tech or you know, the same kind of right, just swap, talking shop. Yeah, and, and I love the fact that people are interested in your movies. And that's awesome. It is awesome for the town, too. We hope you come back and start making movies here. Well, I hope so. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Chip. Thank and you. Go get more at BufordFilmFestival.com and dig into the archives at LowCountryWeekly.com. We'll see you next time.